Hello everyone, I'm Michael and this is the second video for my YouTube channel, Tactica Imperialis. For those of you who've seen my introductory video yesterday, I'll put a link to that in the description, uh, I have changed the channel name, uh, more on a whim than anything else. So, anyway, this video is about my Imperial Guard. Uh, the Imperial Guard, as I said yesterday, are the force I've been collecting for the past few weeks, months or so, and I feel that, well, it would be a good time to show you what I've got before I go into any more detail about them. Uh, I'll also probably be looking over um, my friends' armies and things at not too far as short future. Uh, so, okay, on screen as yesterday is my Lord Commissar. Actually, seeing this now, I could probably do with touching him up a bit. There's a few areas I need to sort. But he is simply converted. Actually, he's not even converted at all. He's built straight from the command squad frame uh, with um, grenades, binoculars, power sword, bolt pistol. And um, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, he's my current warlord leader for the army. He's the one who is in charge of everything. High leadership and everything else makes him an ideal choice. So, my other HQ choice at the moment is these guys. They are my company command squad. Uh, the leader of them is this guy. And he's a lot less of a guard commander. He's more, well, he's not fighty as such. Simple Laz Pistol, Kane, Servo Skull. He's one who preside from the back ranks and issue orders rather than get stuck in like a commissar would. Uh, as it fits a command squad, the Regimental Standard, uh, Foxcaster, Medic. I need to repaint that plasma gunner actually, but that's my next job. Uh, the army scheme I've gone with is from... Paragon. Now, unless you've read the book Baneblade, you won't understand what that means, but Paragonians have a purple and white colour scheme and wear vermilion red dress robes. Hence the colour scheme here with the purple armour, the red robes and the white clothing. Uh, the ice blue las gun is an indulgence on my part. I just thought it was a good contrast colour and I kept with it. Originally when I started out, they were painted a lot more like this. Uh, where is he? Uh, red armour and white because of the cover of the book, which I will just get. Hang on. Which featured a Bane Blade on the front. The Bane Blade being red and white. Hence, I thought that was what the colour scheme was going to be. Turns out, less so. And after having a proper read of it, it was purple. So, that's... Why there's some red models and majority be purple models. I've not quite finished with the repaint yet. I'm getting there. Uh, I spent most of this morning on my guardsmen, getting them up to scratch. Uh, there's a heavy weapon team there. There's a chimera at the back. I'll go into detail on that later. Uh, a lot of these were converted. If you look here, these guys have their las guns converted slightly. So instead of being your typical las gun, which looks more like that you have a shotgun style. Uh, this was done by one of my friends who collected this force before me. Uh, he decided he wanted to go with a more shotgun look on his army, trimmed down the las guns, and I thought it looked really good and kept with it. Then again, it's not as easy to put them back together. However, I've kept some with the typical las gun, so as to keep some variety and probably just to save me a little bit of conversion work. If you, if I show you some of my late, or further on conversion works on my old orc army, you'll see what I mean. Uh, I have a few flamers, and I think there's a grenade launcher out there somewhere as well. Uh, if I just focus in, uh, yeah, at the back is a couple of sergeants. This one was the first model I actually did. Uh, built straight out of the infantry squad box uh, with one change. I've added a High Elf's Archer's Cloak on the back. I collected High Elf's Fantasy for a fair period of time, and so I had a load of spare parts, and uh, they're just there. Um, that's the majority of my army so far. I haven't got a lot. I've only got the models you see there, so there's about two infantry squads there. Uh, Lee and Ross, Company Command, Commissar, Platoon Command, which is all converted from spares. Uh, veteran slash infantry squad, so I'm, I'm getting another 10 guardsmen in the next week or so. Um, I'm 
not sure what I'll be doing with them next, but at the minute it's just getting them up to a painted standard that I'm happy with. Uh, vehicles, yeah. Uh, this is a Lehman Russ. A Lehman Russ, for those of you who don't know what the Imperial Guard do, is the mainstay battle tank. Strong front armour, decent side armour, but not so strong in the back. Depends on the model. Uh, this one is built as a Lehman Russ Executioner. No, no, wait, hang on. Exterminator. Executioner has plasma cannons. This has a two auto cannons uh, with heavy bolt to side sponsors. This is the most basic build. It costs 150 points, which isn't bad. Uh, I've had this is not my actual Russ. I bought this second hand from a friend. So you probably will notice if there's a fair bit of patchwork's gone on. Uh, here and here are bases from my high elf army that I've had to repurpose. Uh, I'm sure you've already noticed there are no tracks. I'm still working on where I'm going to get some tracks. Uh, and there are two holes in the side. But apart from that, it's pretty much as is. I, this is actually a metal gun. The guns on here aren't, well, some of the guns, these two guns here are metal rather than plastic, because the kit is a plastic kit nowadays. But these are metal. I'm not sure where my friend came across these parts, whether they were just some old spares that he came across, but it's very good. I don't have the other Rust guns. I'm stuck with this one at the moment. Probably when I get my own Lehman Rust, I will take the exterminator cannon out and put something like a Punisher cannon in, because I'm not too keen on the exterminator. Uh, still, four shots, twin link, strength 7 AP4, I think, which is... For those of you who speak Warhammer, not that bad. It's more designed for light vehicles and most infantry. Although Space Marines, with a 3 plus armor save, can still take a salvo from this without dying. Which is irritating, but that's what Space Marines are designed to do. Uh, the other vehicle I got, I only got this yesterday actually, is my Chimera. Uh, it's again, straight up out of the box. Uh, it's got a heavy bolter in place of the multi-laser you get with the kit and a heavy bolter down here as well. The dozer blade has been added. Uh, the only real conversion work done to this is the top hatch. This isn't a typical Imperial Guard top hatch. In fact, neither of them have one. But this one is a Space Marines Rhino top hatch, I believe. Uh, my friend put that there because he'd lost the top hatch when he made it. So he improvised. I think it looks quite good. Uh, if you have any opinions on how it, you think it looks, leave it in the comment section. I'll bear it in mind. Uh, one thing that I've done with the vehicles is the sides. Purple armour, as befits the Paragon regiments. Just put it down a second. But down here, if I just focus it, you'll see that the outer section is painted in white. Well, it's supposed to be white. It's almost grey. It's grey. It looks silver a bit on the camera. Uh, and then the inner section is painted red. You'll see the same on the Rus. Uh, if you look, white sections and then red around the outside. That was just something I decided to do on a whim and I thought it looked reasonably cool. So it's something I'm going to keep up on my other vehicles when I get more Chimeras. Excuse me. Uh, Russes, <sighs> Hellhounds, maybe even the Baneblade one day. We'll see how we go because they're expensive. I'm not going to lie, Bane Blades are expensive and awkward. But they are cool, and if my friends want to go to a larger scale game, such as Apocalypse, I'm sure we'll do something on Apocalypse later, I'm going to need one. Um, that's my guard army, pretty much. I uh, don't think I've got anything else. In the pipeline, me, in terms of the army, I'm probably going to expand with a few more infantry and then get on to the tanks. Uh, heavy weapon team with a heavy bolt, I'm yet to paint that, but the heavy weapon team, actually I'll bring this up, the heavy weapon team can is taken as part of your infantry platoon, your troop choices. They will hold objectives and provide firepower. There are two ways to take a heavy weapon team. You either take three of them as a squad on their own, or you substitute two guardsmen, one, two, and you attach the heavy weapon team to the squad. And... It replaces two guys, which if you do it, leaves you enough spare guys to make another squad. That's just me being economising. But this gives an infantry squad, while it loses manoeuvrability, it gains firepower. I'll do a tactics video on the Imperial Guard and heavy weapon teams at a later date, I think. Uh, because I don't know how long this video is going to take to upload with recording times. 
Um, in terms of what's coming up for the channel, uh, I'll probably do one of two things. The first thing I might do is a tactics video on the Imperial Guard. The other thing I might do is I might get one of my friends who's been painting up his Chaos Marine Army and ask him to do a showcase of them sooner rather than later because I'm a big fan of the, his Chaos Army and his painting skills. Sadly, mine don't match, but it's either going to be a, a tactics video or another showcase video like this one. I'm not sure yet. Um, I've also got another army. I've got an Orc Army, uh, which are, if I can... Just hang on a second, if I can find my case. The orcs are your stereotypical alien bad guy. Not much brain, lots of brawn. Hang on, they're in my box. Uh, but yeah, they have all sorts of units, such as bikes, helicopter units. That's my other heavy weapon team. I was wondering where that got to. Uh, little guys, big guys, all sorts of in-between guys. Oh, there's a Chaos Demon in there. Didn't realize I had a Chaos Demon in there. Uh, so yeah, that's my York army. I'll probably showcase them at some time as well. We'll see how we go. Um, because I've got something for my orcs that I think is really awesome, and I'll showcase that in a video all of its own. That's another date. So that's it for today. Be sure to like, favourite, subscribe, whatever you guys do. If you enjoyed the video or want to see a bit more in future. If you have any questions for me about the game, about the channel, about the army... Uh, be sure to just drop it in the comments and I'll try and get back to you either through a Q&A or something else in a later video. Um, that's about it really. Um, I'll put a link to my introductory video so you can see what you can expect from us coming up in the description. And that's it. I'm out. See you again.